The formative assessment I will be using in this video is a review game at the beginning of class. Through this review game, I will be able to see where each student's understanding of the concepts we have been working on falls and how the class as a whole is doing at grasping this material. Review games are a great way to assess where students are at before diving into new material and it also helps the students feel comfortable before getting into new material as well. The review game I will be using in my example for this video is for a fifth grade music class and the concept I am assessing their knowledge of is being able to hear a rhythmic pattern and match it with how it would look on paper. Where I want the students to be able to go from there is to be able to write out the rhythmic pattern on their own. In the example I'm about to show, I have the students get into pairs and I pass out cards that have the answers to the questions I'm going to ask. I am going to stand at the front of the class and clap out different rhythms and they're going to work with their partners to decide which card in front of them shows the rhythm that I just clapped. Working with pairs makes this formative assessment good for students with diverse learning needs because they can learn from and with another person and then they will feel more comfortable showing their guess of what the answer is if they do not feel extremely comfortable on the material on their own. And this game also includes both auditory and visual examples of the rhythmic pattern. So for students who would have trouble hearing, they can watch my hands as I clap and they'll have a visual representation in front of them. In the example I'm about to show, I had some of my college music major friends act as the kids in the class. So that's who is going to be in the video. Now that you guys are in pairs, I am going to clap a rhythm. So listen very carefully and when I am finished, look at your cards and work with your partner to choose the card that shows the rhythm that I just clapped, okay? So here's the first one. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay? Choose a car. That was great. You guys all got it right. All right, we're going to do another one, which is a little bit trickier. Are you ready? One, two, Three, four. Okay. <laughs> so MK and Alyssa, you guys didn't choose the right card. And so from the other pairs cards, you can see that it was the one with the dotted quarter note, right? Can anybody tell me how many beats a dotted quarter note gets? One and a half beats. That's right. So let's look at that rhythm one more time, and we're going to clap it together as a class, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. For the last one, we're going to have Ian and Morgan... You guys are going to choose one of the rhythms in front of you and you're going to clap it for the class and then the rest of you guys are going to guess which rhythm they chose. Oh. <laughs> you guys are doing great! So we're going to keep practicing with this each day, and we're going to also be moving on to some new material, okay?